Hi, I'm Kyle, I'm an illustrator and I'm going to take you through some tips on drawing manga and chibi. Okay, I'm going to take you through how to draw manga style. Uh, what I'm basically going to show you is here the differences, I suppose, between a more, uh, a more realistic approach to drawing, or like perhaps something you might even see in um, more Western sort of comics, uh, and the sort of generic sort of uh, style of anime and manga and that sort of look. So let's get going. So we've got the character here that's, you know, that's pretty much uh, well rounded off. He, he pretty much looks believable. There's a little, there's a few problems there, but uh, we can pretty much believe him as a, as a more real human face. Now what manga style tends to do is really quite you know, simplify uh, lines quite a lot. So I'm just going to start from really from the skull outwards here. So as you can see on this character, the jaw lines are quite pronounced, the cheeks, everything's really, you know, really been considered to a fair extent and, uh, and measured out. However, with, with manga, it tends to just come down to really simple, I'm just uh, mapping out here, just a good way to make sure you keep things in proportion. Um, with manga, it tends to be just like big, broad strokes. This isn't always the case. I don't speak for all of Japanese comics or all of Japanese animation when I say this, but this is the, the sort of the gen general sort of style you see at the moment. So I just see that with a manga character that sort of jawline and head shape is simplified quite a lot. It's just a simple sphere that you've taken down to a point. I mean, if you, if you want to, you can round that off. I personally like to. So, just the same. You have to think about the eye line. You have to think about where things are proportionally on the face. You can't just flippantly ignore things like that just because you're drawing you know quote unquote stylized you have to still consider these things and not cut corners so much the ears I'm just gonna block in just for now there's a little rounded shape either side and the notes about the middle of the ear brow line comes in about there Okay, with the eyes, the eyes tend to be just like big symbols. You sometimes see, you know, some people who draw the eyes absolutely massive. You know, it's, it's really up to you how you want to draw it. As long as you are basing it on some sort of fundamentals yourself, you're actually observing how it works, I say go for it, whatever you want to draw. And before I get off too much into a lecture, let's carry on drawing. So with manga, the, the eyes tend to get simplified quite a lot, just to often a pair of lines and the iris, iris and pupil. Think about the direction the light's coming from when you do it, especially if you're going to be shading, colouring the rest of the character. And think about what direction the light's coming from that's making those little, uh, those little reflections and sparkles in the eye. Okay, I'm just going to do a little bit of shading there. Don't want to get too much ahead of myself. There's always about an eye's distance between the eyes to keep things in proportion, much like you know, a 
we're realistically drawing human face. Not perfect, though, I'm afraid, but uh, let's move swiftly on. Now, the nose is often just uh, simplified right down to just almost a little check sort of shape like that. Some people do almost a more rounded shape. I mean, I, I personally, if I'm drawing for pleasure, I, I like to just draw just the underside of the nose like that. So you just get the idea of uh, shadow falling that way. It's really up to you at the end of the day, as long as uh, you know how the nose is constructed on, on the face, you can uh, draw it however you like. So I'm just going to simplify it down to that simple check shape, just following this central line. And it's really, you're not drawing the whole nose with that, it's just the shadow down the side of it. I'm just going to shade that a little bit. So you get the idea of that. Okay. Now I'm going to draw the mouth, which really does get simplified. Um, that kind of stems from, you know, a lot of, a lot of uh, animation in Japan having to be, not, not always, but uh, done quite quick. Uh, to keep up with the manga that's, uh, that's selling it and each influencing the other and therefore the mouths have ended up quite, uh, quite simplified. Often just a simple line. If I just draw down to the side here, just underneath this nose actually. Just like a simple line like that even. But obviously you don't get these folds and the, drawing the full details around the lips because it looks a little bit out of place. So, but sometimes people draw just a little bit more detail. I'm just going to put a little dip in the centre there to show the line of the lip. I'm just drawing in just the shape of the ear. The brow, eyebrows, really quite simplified. Just Big blocks is how uh, a lot, a lot of like hair is drawn. It's big symbols, really, is the best way I put it to put it. I suppose. And just following this fellow's hairline. A little bit short in the top of the head there, I'm afraid. Let's uh, try and sort that out. There we go, that's a bit better. I mean, that would be more or less the point you'd come to with the hair, with someone with short hair like this. I'm just gonna add a few little spikes, and it is just about breaking down things to the, their base shapes. Okay, and there we go, and that's how to draw manga style.